OK, so if we're going to be looking at what is the absolute value of a complex number. So here we have a complex number. We want to determine you know, what is going to be the absolute value. Now, I'll get into why we're going to find the absolute value in a second. But our formula that we're going to use for the absolute value of a complex number is going to be the square root of a squared plus b squared. Now, you might look at this and say, oh, square root of a squared plus b squared, that's something very, very similar uh, to some couple formulas that we've recognized. So let's go to the complex plane and kind of see what we have here. All right, let's pretend I have a point, and we call that a plus bi. Now, from that point, we have our real part, and then we have our bi. Okay, So we could call this a, and this will be bi. So if we wanted to find the absolute value, that's going to be a squared plus b squared. Well, our bi our a squared and our b squared. We know that a squared plus b squared, what that equal, or the square root of a squared plus b squared, that's part of your Pythagorean theorem. So what, what that's determining now is going to be our hypotenuse of this triangle. So therefore, you can determine that the absolute value of a plus bi is going to be the distance from your origin to your point of your complex number. So that's how we determine what the absolute value uh, of a complex number is. And then here, you can see graphically how that's represented as the distance from your 0 or your origin to your complex uh, number. Thanks.